Good afternoon, viewers. In this lesson of a love for social studies, Jesus 3, we would like you to understand the objectives of this particular topic. At the end of the of this four series, students should be able to give the meaning of love. They should be able to list different ways of loving behavior and at the same time they should be able to list the different types of law and also be able to differentiate the different types of law. Good afternoon once again. The other objective mentioned earlier was for the first series of love for GSS3. Now, this second series, what students should be expecting as the objective is that they should be able to explain behaviors that enhance loving relationship as well they should be able to mention the qualities of love. Now, when we talk about love, there are some behaviors that enhance loving relationship. For instance, mutual respect. Mutual respect is expected when you say you love your friend when you say you are in love with somebody, there must be mutual respect. Because that person that loves you really cares about you. And that's the reason why that person is appreciating you, relating with you, and trying to do things in common with you. Another behavior that enhances loving relationship is true sharing sharing you see when you love somebody you must be ready to share share your ideas share material things that will really make you to be a good person that will really make you to be a good citizen remember the person you are trying to relate with is coming from a different background just the way you two you are coming from a different background now, when you are not ready to share things with that person, then you are not behaving in a way that shows that you love or you care for that person. Another thing that you should understand is tolerance. You must be ready to tolerate because conflict is inevitable. There is no way you will not misunderstand each other. There is no way you will not fight. But when you understand that you need to tolerate, then you call that person into order, telling the person what exactly you don't appreciate in that person. So if you really want to behave in a loving relationship, then you must be ready to tolerate. Then another aspect is closeness and continuous togetherness. When you say you love somebody, you must always be close, discussing meaningful things, discussing about your future, discussing about what we bring good things your way. For instance, maybe you want to become a medical doctor, you start discussing it, planning, thinking, how can you achieve that? Then there must be good and constant communication. Not when you meet, you start gossiping about what happened during the day or about what happened to another person. No. You must be ready to communicate meaningfully. You see, that will help us, even as a citizen, to find ourselves in a conducive environment that will promote stability and that will make our nation to be progressive. Not that we will be communicating things that are not necessary, things that we pull down others. So you, there must be good and constant communication. Also, 
you make future plans together. You make future plans together, planning exactly based on your ambitions. You want to become a medical doctor, you want to become an accountant, you want to become an engineer, you want to become a nurse. You plan together. You discuss what are ways, what are things that we need to do that will help us to achieve this. Then you must work towards mutual goals. Those goals you are setting for yourself, you must plan. You must think of how to achieve those goals. Then do not forget, you must remember important dates. Dates are very, very important in our life. When you remember important dates like your birthday dates, like your, your parents' wedding, anniversary, and so on, it is a way that truly you are showing loving relationship. This takes us to the next stage that has to do with facts about love. There are facts that we need to understand about love. The first fact is love is not the same as sexual involvement. Don't make mistake. When you have sex with your friend that you love your friend, no. You don't love. That's not love. So love is not the same as sexual involvement. First love may often be one of the life most intense memorable experiences. You see, when you meet somebody for the very first time, if you manage yourself very well, that relationship can last forever. Even if your friend should travel out of the country, you always keep in touch. You always hear from your friend, hear about his progress, and that will also check you to be sure that you too you are making progress. Love usually takes time to develop. So don't forget, love takes time to develop because you need to understand yourself. You need to know what your friend likes and what he doesn't like. So it takes time. Some people may, may be in loving relationship for 10, 15 years. Still, they may not understand themselves. So you should understand that love usually takes time to develop. In a loving relationship, people respect and encourage each other. So you must take that into consideration, that you must respect yourself and you must also keep your friend's secret and you don't expose your friend unnecessarily. And that takes us to myths about love. When we talk about myths, these are things that are not true, but some people want to take it to be true, like stories. So you must take note so that when you are trying to love yourself, care for yourself, and somebody say you are selfish, so that you understand that you are not. So number one, you can only fall in love once. is a myth. One can fall in love several times with different people over a lifetime. Love conquers all. It's also a myth. There are some issues love cannot resolve. For example, somebody that is poor, and maybe there is famine and you are expecting love to conquer it. No, you need to be hardworking and you need to save so that you will not fall into problem that you, you will be short of what you need or what have you. And that will take us to importance of love. You see, as a student, as a citizen, we need to understand that love is important among human beings. The first importance of love is that love promotes social stability. It is when there is love that society can stay together, move together, relate together, and make progress. If there is no love in the political arena of our country, Nigeria, for instance, then we will not be together today. But it's love that is promoting social stability. Also, it brings about understanding among the people. When you love, you understand your neighbors. When you love, you understand your friend in class. When you love, you understand your teachers. When they are teaching you, you pay attention. It is love that helps us to move. It is love that helps us to succeed. It enhances peace. Any society that there is love, 
what you expect from that society is peace. Any family that love is reigning, you also experience peace. And take note that family is the basic unit of the society. Without a family, there is nothing like society. So peace must reign. So if you truly love, then you must ensure that peace is reigning. It brings companionship. Love brings about companionship. It is when there is love that people can be together, stay together, relate together. It promotes cooperation and unity. It is when there is love that unity can be sustained in any environment. Without love, it will be difficult for us to be able to progress and to develop in a society. And that will take us to the last aspect of this series, which has to do with qualities of love. We want to really know if truly we love. The following qualities must be seen in us. We must exhibit it. We must possess it. And we must show it anywhere we find ourselves. If we cannot express this, then it shows that there is no love. We are only deceiving ourselves. The first quality is commitment. Any student, any citizen that says that they love, there must be commitment. Because before you can understand your friend, you must be committed to that your friend. Also, it brings about companionship. That's another quality, companionship. Companionship brings us together. Companionship makes us to understand ourselves. Companionship helps us to relate well. Also, honesty. If you say you love, you must be honest. You can't just deceive your friend and say you love your friend and you go behind your friend, you are gossiping about your friend. Then your friend will not trust you, will not even respect you. He will see you as an enemy. Then you must also respect. This is another quality of love. You must respect. If you say you love somebody, you must respect that person. If that person should tell you it's all a secret, you must keep it to yourself, not that you go behind and be spoiling your friend. Then you must understand that person. Understand that person because you are coming from different background. So you must really understand that person. Then you must accept. You must accept. There must be acceptance. If you say you love somebody, then you must accept that person because all the time you can't be getting everything right. So you must accept that person's weaknesses as well. Then you now accept that person to improve on this or her self-esteem. Then you must be ready to care. You must be ready to care, show caring for that person. And also you must be ready to trust. These are qualities of love. Then you must be ready to tolerate. Tolerance is very important when you are talking about love. Then also forgiveness. There is no way we will not offend ourselves, but you must be ready to forgive. After mentioning the mistake of your friend, or your friend mentioned your mistake, then you must be ready to forgive. And forgive this time around, you must let go, forget completely, so that you can move on together. Then if you say you love, you must be responsible. It needs responsibility. That's another qualities of love. There must be level of responsiveness. You must be ready to be responsible to your friend. Your friend must be ready to be responsible to you. And at the same time, there must be reliability. That is, are you somebody that somebody can rely on? Hope when secrets are being mentioned to you, hope those secrets are safe. So there must be reliability. You must be ready to rely. So with these teachings, I want to believe that we already have a better understanding of what love is all about. And this will help us as a society to move on and to ensure that our country is progressing. So as a student, you must understand that love is essential, is expected for you to be able to understand what your teachers are teaching so that you'll be able to understand what you are doing. And this will help you to progress. I will appreciate you to watch out for the next series of this lesson because they are coming in series. Thank you for listening and have a nice time.